So Avid released his version 12.4 a while ago. I'm finally getting to it now. And I want to speak about Freeze. They finally added Track Freeze. I know I've spoke about this in the past. I showed you guys all the workarounds, how to accomplish Track Freeze inside of Pro Tools. There are multiple ways to do it. And I'm not going to discuss those here. What I want to show you is Track Freeze and how it works. So here I have a session, something I'm working on, work in progress. Let me play for you guys. Great. Work in progress, not done. But one of the things I like to do is producing a track or making a beat. I like to kind of mix the track as I go. So as you can see, I have my instrument track. I have some plugins going on. If you take a look, I have expand. I have an EQ. I actually have two EQs. I listen, I do some modifications, and I keep going. I do this all the way through until the mix time. And then I'll sit down and I'll probably take some things off. Some things might not sound great. Right now, you guys might probably listen to this and be like wait a minute that sounds crazy or it sounds horrible but hey it is what it is and this video isn't about that the point of it is i want to show you how track freeze works so if we take a look at the harp track you right click it you have this option here called freeze if we click it it renders the track it brings the file back into pro tools it drops it on the same track So you see the WAV file and the MIDI data right behind it. And it also disabled all the plugins, which is pretty cool. So the file that it imported and the WAV file that you see there has the expand, has the impact, has my two EQs all in that WAV file. So everything is printed onto that WAV file. Now, if you wanted to undo it and you want to change something, you just right click. I'm freeze. And there you go, you have your MIDI data back. Now you can see why this is helpful. So let's say you're working with 20 to 30 tracks and you have all these uh, virtual instruments. Some of these uh, virtual instruments could take up a lot of resources. So what you do, if you're done with that particular track, you freeze it, you save your resources. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give me a thumbs up. I want you to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. This is Ray and I'm out of here, later. So you have a hard drive that you connect to your computer or a flash drive. Windows detects it, but it won't read. And then you find out it was formatted using a Mac, so you can't get the content off of it. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to extract that data off of...